The body of the 13-year-old Grand Isle drowning victim recovered. Sadly, a second child was airlifted after being rescued due to strong currents knocking her over. WGNO's Ashley Hamilton spoke to one of the beachgoers who tried to save the little boy by the dangers of the currents. Please use caution when you're out here and Mother Nature is stronger than you think. It's been a traumatic Memorial Day weekend, one ending in a 13-year-old boy drowning at the Grand Isle Beach Saturday afternoon. Police say the boy disappeared underwater after dangerous waves pushed him towards the rock jetties. And he was fighting, fighting it, trying to stay up above the water, but he eventually, you know, couldn't, couldn't fight it anymore, went under the water, and that was the last of this they seen of him. Brock Pellerin says a friend alerted him about the boy drowning and immediately jumped into action. Probably searched for a good three or four hours uh, and couldn't, couldn't come up with a, a, a very good response on it. Well, last night about 9.30, that said one of the drones picked up an image uh, in the water and we searched for another hour and a half last night walking in the water. After a search assisted by the United States Coast Guard, the boy's body was discovered Sunday about three miles from where he drowned. That same day, Assistant Chief Walter Terrio says a 10-year-old girl was pulled out of rough waters off the shore of Grand Isle. A wave had knocked her over, and she was unable to um, keep her balance and stay above the water. She was pulled to the shore. Uh, at that point, CPR was started until so airman landed. And once you get in that rip current, you just can't fight it, even for an experienced swimmer. Chief Terrio explains there are no lifeguards, but signs warn swimmers of dangerous water conditions along the beach. Pellerin emphasizes the importance of staying alert at all times. Be aware of your surroundings. Be aware, you know, if, if it's rough, don't go too far out. Parents, just keep an eye on your kids. You know, when they get too far out, holler at them, make them come back. Uh, rock jetties over here, please stay off the rock jetties when it's rough. Ashley Hamilton, WGNO News. Now, as far as hiring lifeguards for the beach, police say that would have to be up to the council.